Hey guys, welcome back to the Fit Channel and welcome back to another mukbang with me. Today, 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 I have Panda Express. Um, I've been craving this, so I went and got it. I'm gonna tell you what I got and then we're gonna get right into this meal. I'm so hungry that I'm hungry. We have the super greens. We got string bean chicken, Kung Pao chicken, teriyaki chicken, black pepper Angus steak, white rice and chow mein. One egg roll is with sour sauce. And then for dessert, very special dessert. I've never had this. I got the brownie and cookie dough enlightened ice cream. I don't know if this stuff just hit the street, but I'm looking forward to this. Got some almond flavored Ready Whip, limited edition, limited edition Oreo white chocolate covered Oreos. And I have a very special homemade dessert here. It's apple crisp. Um, this is my first time ever having it. Now, I already tried it, but it's fabulous. I can't wait to get back into that. So let's get into the meal today. I'm gonna try to work with these chopsticks. I'm not the best with them, but we're definitely gonna start, but we're probably gonna end up using the fork. Disclaimer. Got that teriyaki chicken on deck. I love this stuff, man. Mm. This is my favorite dish at Panda, the cherry ackee chicken, I love it. I've never had the black pepper Angus steak. Let me give that a try. Mm. Oh my God, it's amazing. That's what she said. <laughs> Don't embarrass me, man. Got the super greens here, it's broccoli. Not sure what else it is, but. <laughs> this stuff is fire. Kung Pao chicken. You can never go wrong with Panda. Ever. Panda is the goat. Chow mein. Oh, this is great. Mm. The string bean chicken is juicy. It's got tomatoes, string beans. I'm not sure what that sauce is, but I like it. And white rice is just white rice. Guys.
I tried. Mmm. So good. So good. I thought about only getting one meal, but I just finished training legs. I'm exhausted. And anybody knows, or anyone who trains legs, like seriously trains legs, knows afterwards, the hunger is real. Oh. Where I am in the great state of Minnesota. Shout out to Governor Walz for closing everything down again. The gyms, the bars, all of the dine-in is closed. No gym until December 18th. Ten, supposedly. Um, I don't believe that if that's going to hold, I believe he's going to extend it until next year. So it's very possible that I may not have, I can't go to the gym. Like it's closed for the next four weeks, but I do have a squat rack. I have a bench press. I got some dumbbells enough to get stuff done. So I'm not gonna lose my gains, but I'm not gonna be building any muscle either. And that's, uh, today was the last day. No gym. The steak um, has pepper. Broccoli, green beans, red pepper, and a sauce on it. It's amazing. A little bit of spice, not too much. to this egg roll. A little sweet and sour sauce. Yes, we had to get our vegetables in, health and fitness. You'll notice that 
The calories for this meal aren't crazy. Yes, it's a good amount of food, but the calorie content is not really that high. And for the next four weeks, I still plan on having cheat days, but I'm really gonna have to watch the amount of calories that I take in because I'm not able to train as intensely as I normally do to burn those calories. Um, so, and cardio is gonna be very minimal too. So I'm really gonna have to pay attention to what it is that I eat. But the cheat days are going to continue because if, if you can't have something that you like, then what's the point of doing it? Don't do things that you don't enjoy doing and don't stop doing things that you enjoy doing. I enjoy the hell out of this. Mm. Right, look at that. That compound chicken has peanuts. Peppers. Wow. And who doesn't love a panda? I mean, this. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Whoo, I just got one of those peppers. Wow. Woo. We got some Diet Coke here. Oh. Look at my eyes. Oh my God. That will clear your sinuses right up. Got some Diet Coke here. I love Diet Coke. That was hot. I think the black pepper Angus has asparagus chopped up in it. This is actually a really clean cheat meal. It's pretty high in sodium, but overall the, the food and the quality of it is actually pretty good. There's a lot of protein here, some good clean carbs, a lot of vegetables to get those micronutrients in. And it always tastes better when you didn't have to cook it. That's hot. That's why I was choking from that. So I had a pretty interesting week. Um, I went on a couple of dates with the same girl.
And anybody that knows me knows that I haven't been on a date in a very long time. And it was actually nice. I enjoyed the conversation. Um, so it was a good time. Both encounters were pretty good. happened i hit a new pr on the hack squad machine this week so that was pretty cool right when things are starting to go well they close the the gym so if you're in a state or you're somewhere where your gyms are open you are blessed. Now, this would be a very good time to start making excuses um, to not continue on your journey as far as fitness goes. But around here, we don't make excuses. We get stuff done. And where there's a will, there's a way. It comes down to how bad do you want it? How important is it to you? We'll always make time for things that are, and find a way, we'll always make time and find a way for things that are important to us. The game train don't stop. <laughs> this is really good. Look at that. It's a perfect bite right there. That is a perfect bite. Perfect. Mm. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you like Panda Express and what do you normally get? Do you have any recommendations? I know about orange chicken. Orange chicken is the goat, but we're trying to keep this meal relatively clean while still having something good to eat. So what would you normally get at Panda? I'm not, uh, 
Sorry guys, these peppers gotta go. I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to spice. I don't mind a little spice, but when my sinuses get cleared out instantly, that's too hot. Shout out to ever, to, shout out to anyone that likes spice. I got a few more videos coming for those of you that are in quarantine that I think will be helpful. Um, how to maintain your gains while no gym. What your diet should look like if you're not training. I was having a conversation with a friend of mine in the gym and there was a kid there that was doing something that was kind of weird or not really right. The form on it was really bad. And my buddy was like, you know him, right? I said, yeah, I I know who he is. You know, I've talked to him a few times. He was like, you should go over there and tell him what he's doing is wrong. Now, I'm not that guy. See, um, I don't want to see anyone get hurt. But some people don't take too kindly to you critiquing what they're doing. If your opinion wasn't asked for. So I'm really cautious about that. I really try to mind my own business um, unless someone asks me something, I'm not just going to give my opinion. Because although your intentions for them may have been in a good place, some people simply just don't want to hear it. I don't know about those vegetables. I may finish them. I may not. Trust me, I get plenty of vegetables in during the week.
So I decided to not say anything. Um, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, but my opinion wasn't asked for, so I kept it to myself. And if more people did that, it would be better off for like everyone because unless you know they're going to like get hurt, that's one thing, but this kid's been there for quite a while. And sometimes experience is the best teacher. Actually, most of the time, experience is the best teacher. That is just good. How is that possible? Who else um, does this? Just mix it all together. Some people get triggered by this. I don't understand what the problem is. Like it's all going in the same place. Like, it doesn't matter. Normally, I eat rice with a spoon. Some would think that's weird. Here, me out, hear me out. Okay. The grain is so small, it falls through the fork. And when I'm hungry, this is not what I want to be doing. I just want a, a shovel. Shovel it in. So shout out to anyone that eats rice with a spoon. Mm. See, if I had a spoon, down the vegetables let's see here dessert or vegetables dessert or vegetables which would you choose <laughs> now I think it's time to get into some of this dessert but before we do I was told that this apple crisp tastes much better when it's warm. So I'm gonna warm it up here quick and then we're gonna get to it. Okay, we're back. We have this apple crisp here. I heated it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds. We got this cookie dough enlightened ice cream or I'm sorry, brownies and cookie dough enlightened ice cream. I've never had this. I'm looking forward to that. I thought it'd be pretty good. I mean, who doesn't like some sort of pie and ice cream? I mean, who doesn't? I do. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. And try it by itself first. This is the Enlightened Brownies and Cookie Dough. Damn, it's got chunks of brownie. I taste the cookie dough and it's got chunks of brownie in there. The macros are awesome. 100 calories per serving, not bad for low fat ice cream at all. 
there's four servings in in here so if you eat the whole pint it's only 400 calories that's not bad especially when they got <coughs> excuse me ben and jerry's out there which is like i've seen them up to 12 1300 calories a pint i saw these and you know me limited edition i had to have them so we're gonna give that a try first. Ooh. Ooh. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Is it so? Covered in white chocolate? Damn. That's good. That's good. If you see these, get them. That is dangerously good. Now it's getting into some of this apple crisp. I already tried it because I couldn't resist. What can I say? I love dessert. Hmm. Funny story about this apple crisp. The date that I went on, she actually made this and gave it to me. It's like one of the nicest things someone's ever done for me. Um, we talked about an apple crisp before. She asked me if I had ever had it and I hadn't. And after the date, she just gave me like a whole pan of apple crisp. And I tell you what, I've been missing out my entire life. This stuff is amazing. I fell in love at first taste. I knew that this apple crisp and I were gonna be a good couple. And yes, I do have more. And yes, I plan on eating the rest of it throughout the week at some point. Oh, I saw this today. It's almond flavored, non-dairy, ready whip. I never had it. And then I thought about
this dessert. And I said, well, why not? That ice cream is so good. I don't know how they do it. Like, it doesn't taste like low fat ice cream at all. It tastes like real, like real ice cream. And keep it at 400 calories a pint. That's, that's crazy. Shout out to Enlighten. That's a wonderful product you guys got, got there. Look at that, whipped cream, apple crisp, good fall time, comfort food. This ready whip almond flavor is wow. Just when you thought your taste buds couldn't be elevated anymore. It goes up another notch. I know I need to shave. Um, I usually don't do it. My barber does it. Thank God that the barber shops are still going to be open. Because the last quarantine was for like three months and the barber shops were closed. So I could not get a freaking haircut for three months. That was not cool. It has that is so good. That is just so good. So good. If I didn't work out, I swear I'd be like 600 pounds. And it's crazy because as a kid, I could never eat. Like, I was never really hungry. But once I started, like, spending more time training, lifting weights, all of that changed. got ice cream, you got that cookie crumble on the top of the apple crisp, you got the cooked apples, the brown sugar, the butter, all in one bite. <laughs> soul mm. 
That stuff is good. All right. Well, last bite of this dessert. Probably gonna do one more of these. Like I said, if you see these, I can't break it. If you see these, get them. If you see this, get it. Comment below if you've ever had this or any other enlightened flavor. This might be my new favorite. Well, guys, I'm pretty full. So that's going to be the video for today. All of the food from Panda was amazing. The rice, the chow mein, the black pepper Angus steak is um, the string bean chicken. I love the teriyaki chicken and the compound chicken was great too. This apple crisp is the goat. It's amazing. Um, I love apple crisp now. I, I, I didn't know that I loved it, but I guess I do. These Oreo cookies are pretty good. They're limited edition, so they're, I'm sure they're only going to be out for a little while longer. You should really get your hands on a pack of these and give them a try. The Ready Whip, if you see this stuff, get it too. Very, very good flavor, and it's non-dairy. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. You can follow me on Instagram at Harley Davidson or nothing. You can follow me on Twitter at FitLifeOver40. I have a podcast that's available on Apple and Spotify. And the name of that podcast is FitLifeOver40. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next video.